Hello everyone. Today we're going to be comparing these two integrals. Cosine of x to the negative power of 1 dx versus the integral of the inverse cosine x dx. How we're going to do this is, remember if we have something like this, it's the same as saying 1 over 5. So the inside of the parentheses, we just put 1 over the inside of the parentheses, dx. And we know that this is the same as having secant x dx. And the integral of that in the integral table in the book is ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x plus c. And we are done. And if you want to watch a video of how we came about this answer, you can click the link in the description. Now, moving on to this integral. This integral is inverse cosine of x dx, which is the same as having arc cosine x dx. The way we're going to be solving this integral is we're going to be using the di method. But let us first multiply this by 1 because it doesn't change anything. And for the di method, we would need two components, one of which will be taking the derivative and the other for which we'll be taking the integral. How do you know which one to pick? Well, in this situation, if you pick arc cosine x to be what you're integrating, you're pretty much asking yourself the same question again. So you have to pick it as what you're taking the derivative of. And notice how the sign's alternating, plus, minus, plus, minus. So we have arc cosine, we take the derivative of that, we have negative one over radical one minus x squared and then the integral of one is x. So we multiply this way, and we're gonna have x times arc cosine of x. And then we multiply this way as well. Negative times a negative is a positive. One times x is a x over radical one minus x squared dx. And we take the integral of this component. So now we wanna take the integral of this component we have to use the u substitution. And we set u equal to what's inside the radical. u equals one minus x squared. And then we take the derivative of that, which is the du. du is gonna be equal to negative two x times dx. And now we just solve for dx. dx is gonna be equal to du divided by negative two x. And now we just plug everything in. The integral of x, we replace 1 minus x squared with u, which is radical u, and dx is now du over 2x, which is what we have here. This x cancels out with this x, and we just have a negative half outside times the integral of 1 over radical u. And 1 over radical u in power form is u to the negative half. And how do we take the integral of this? We just add 1 and divide by that number. So we're gonna have u to the half. The half comes from negative half plus one, which is half, and we divide by half, which is pretty much the same as multiplying by two over one. And the two cancels out with that two. You have a negative u to the half. And the negative u to the half in radical form is negative radical u. And we just do the final replacement and take it back to the x world u was equal to one minus x squared. And we just replace it. Negative radical one minus x squared. And we bring it over here. So we have x times r cosine x. Positive times a negative is negative. Radical one minus x squared plus c. And we are done. If you wanna learn more about the DI method, you can click the link in the description to watch the video. Thank you.